Hey guys, welcome to another video from CompetitiveEdgeProducts.com. Today I'm going to review and demo this canoe that I have. I've got two of them. I have my wife on board helping and my two-year-old who is falling asleep, <laughs> but they're here to help me. Um, it's, it's called the Emotion Wasatch, and the manufacturer, I've got my motor here and I'm drifting a little bit, so I have to correct every now and then, but the manufacturer, Lifetime Products, is based in Utah, and they're located on what is called locally the Wasatch Front. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I love about this canoe, including all the features I can think of, and I'm also gonna tell you the cons. In fact, let's start with the pros and cons real quick, and you can decide if you want to continue watching this video. The top three pros. Number one, without question, my favorite feature is this motor mount that it has. It doesn't, ha it doesn't come with the motor, but it has the motor mount, meaning you can add a motor to this canoe. And in the video, I'll show you what type of motor I bought, what type of battery. Um, check the description below. There's gonna be more information in there and the type of battery case that I got. And yes, still bring your paddles to get some exercise, of course, because there may be some lakes reservoirs and rivers that don't allow for motors and you have to use your, your, your paddles, but that's okay, get you exercise, right? So best of both worlds. Number two pro, it is lightweight. Compared to any other canoe I've used, they, it's only 96 pounds, so I can move it, transport it myself. It's strong high density polyethylene plastic. So um, not only can I transport it and put it in the back of the bed of the truck myself, but you can store it outside. Number three, the third feature, it's kind of personal for me. I love the backrests. I have to have backrests. Um, they're not padded, but they are contoured, so they're, they're quite comfortable. But even if I'm in a canoe that doesn't have a backrest, I have to, I have to bring a stadium chair or something because it just kills my back not to have them. But they come off really easily, so when you're transporting them, I have two of these, so I stack them. And in order not to damage the, the backrests, I, I, uh, I, t I just remove them. So, but they pop on pretty easily. So here are the top three cons to this canoe, in my opinion. Number one, it might surprise you, but it doesn't come with paddles. A lot of nice canoes actually don't include paddles. Um, a canoe paddle isn't quite like a kayak paddle. I mean, you do size both of them to your body and frame, but the thing about the canoe is um, you, you size it to the size of the canoe and to your frame. I mean, most paddles work just fine, really. But some people are very particular about what kind they get. I recommend getting kind uh, paddles that float. Um, a lot of people like wooden ones. Some people like, you know, the aluminum ones that are lightweight. Um, but but uh, it doesn't include a paddle. So since it doesn't include paddles, the number two thing also for me, the number two con, is that it doesn't include paddle clips. And I installed the paddle clips myself, and I'm glad I did. You have to get a rivet gun though, um, so it was a little bit intimidating because I'd never used one before, but it's actually quite simple. Some people screw them on. I used rivets because a lot of these, the seats and everything are, are done with rivets, so I figured that was a good safe way to do it. But that's a game changer for me. I have to have paddle clips. I don't want paddles on board, especially when I have my, my kids or my wife on board. Like, we have enough gear as it is, so it's nice just to store those on the side. Now the third con with the canoe deals with the trade-off between size and speed. I want something that I can take in my short bed Toyota Tundra with the tailgate down. So the largest canoe I felt comfortable with was the smallest that I felt, the largest that I felt comfortable with that would fit in there comfortably and still do the job was a 13 foot. So actually 12, you could even get away with that. But minimum of 12 in my opinion, this is 13, so it's perfect. The longer and more narrow the canoe, the faster it glides through the water generally. There's some other factors, but generally you, treat, you trade stability for speed. So there's, these are plenty fast for me. I've gone out paddling without the motor in intercoastal waters, and I've had some decent side currents, and it still worked great. To be honest, my buddies with longer, more narrow, much heavier canoes, they were faster than me and my sons. Like I said, I have two of these, so we, there are four of us going. But that speed issue wasn't enough to concern me. Their canoes were much longer. They required a trailer. That's a deal breaker for me and my personal preferences. So also these canoes are definitely more stable thanks to the 39 inch wide hole design. So you don't feel like you're gonna dump your crew if someone is leaning one way, you don't all have to. I mean, don't get me wrong, it can tip for sure, any canoe can. But it's the most stable canoe that I've ever been in. It's not the one where you have to like, you know, okay, I'm gonna to lean to the right, you lean to the left, um, 
you know, if you're leaning extremely, you do kind of have to do that with any canoe. But I've had mine for almost a year, so I've had plenty of experience with this canoe and other canoes. And like I said, I have two of them. They're so much fun. I can transport both of them in the back of my short bed truck using some tie downs. And having used them for several, once I got it, after several weeks, I got one of these cool truck bed extender bars. And I totally recommend it. We don't, it's not something we sell. There's a link to it in the description, but it isn't required, but it is certainly less work tying them. To, it's, it's easier to tie them down in your truck when you have that extender. So, and you just have that extra confidence that you're transporting them safely as well. The paddles, the paddle clips, the rivet gun, the motor mount, the battery. I've got links in the description for your reference if you want to see what I use. You, there, there's probably better options for those, but I, I am happy with what I, what I have. So let me tell you about the canoes. They have a five-year warranty. That is from the manufacturer. They include the two backrests, as I mentioned, and there are three seats in here. So keep in mind, there's a nice, generous 600-pound capacity. It includes the luggage-style handles for easy transportation, and I also use those handles for tie-downs. Um, I just I loop my handles through the tie-downs, and it's just, in my, in my opinion, that's the biggest benefit of the, the handles is even more than carrying it. The biggest use is tying it down, in my opinion. And let's not forget about the skeg wheel on the back bottom of the hole. You might find those handy if you're transporting those by yourself across a smooth surface, but for me, um, they're not super practical for how I use them. If I needed to transport it a long distance with, um, with gear in it and everything, you can find those canoe transportation dollies and they're awesome. And they come in all shapes and sizes. You can easily find one that works with, with your canoe. Um, especially if you're going like from the parking lot all the way down to the water, cause some places that's, it's, you can't pull up very easily. But like I mentioned before, it's a high density polyethylene plastic. And what I love about that is that it allows you to, uh, I store them in my backyard. I store them in my backyard, it keeps them out of my garage, frees up some space, and the, they're UV protected, so the sun's not gonna damage it, as long as you have them upside down. So I've got some stands, there's a link below for the stands that I bought, I love them. My father-in-law, when he visited, uh, took one look at them and was like, where did you get those? I gotta get those, and they weren't super expensive either. They're, they're pretty economical. There's covers for the kayaks, but I definitely don't recommend them personally. Like I said, the sun isn't gonna do any harm, so the covers, I mean, they will if you have them right side up because they can you know, wear on the nylon handles. It's the only thing I can think of that it can really wear out. But I store them bottom side up so those handles don't get any uh, UV rays or, or whatever, but I don't recommend the covers. It's just, it's just not necessary. There are molded in cup holders, and I definitely use those, uh, especially when we go in the summer, right? Um, like I said before, one of my favorite features is the transom motor mount. And I use the Minn Kota, uh, 40, it's the Endura. It's got 40 pound thrust, a 36 inch shaft, um, designed just for fresh water, but I might use it in brackish water or just occasionally if I'm in you know, intercoastal waters as well. I still keep the paddles on board, like I said. Um, keep in mind though, if you get a motor, you may be required to register it with your DMV depending on your state laws. And I also got a motor extender for when I'm out here solo. That, that allows me to sit in the middle and, um, but I can use the extender so I can reach to the motor, but I, I don't want all the weight in the back when, it, when I'm just going solo. So I try and balance it like that. Um, people ask me how long the battery lasts. They, I never run out of battery. So it's gotta be at least five or six hours. I do love the battery case. It was pricey and the purchase was absolutely impulsive to be honest, but I, I do love it. I mean, I got two of them and I, it can tell you if it keeps a charge, it keeps the battery dry, has its own connector so you can plug onto the top of them directly. In conclusion, guys, these, these are awesome. They're so much fun. I told my wife I was going out onto the lake to do video and she's like, I'm coming because the fall leaves, as you can see, are in splendor. They're just gorgeous right now. So anyways, these come in two packs and we've got, we got two of them. It's enough to fit six people comfortably and some gear. We sure have enjoyed them. And you know, when family comes and visits, we take them out on the lake. So 
I hope that this video has answered questions that you have about this canoe. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and of course subscribe for more videos and please comment below if I miss something or if you have any questions, I will answer them. So for more reviews, pricing, availability, visit, visit us at competitiveedgeproducts.com.